Hey there, welcome back. My name is Jonas and last time we made this animated progress ring effect and today we're gonna be learning how to make this rolling counter into your prototypes. So, let's go! Alright, so here we are in Figma uh, and if you want to learn to make the progress ring animation, go check out the previous video and I'll also link it somewhere here I think is the i button or info button and also in the video description, so go check it out from there. Uh, but this tutorial is only for the rolling counter, so let's uh, begin building it. And oh yeah, and here we have a basic, basic product setup, so just the template uh, layout here, and the prototype is running here all the time. So let's start. Uh, let's first simply create a text layer and give some number to it and change the color. And is this okay size? No, it's way too small. Let's increase the size here. That would be nice, like let's do 50. Ah, that's okay. So let's make a text layer here. We can close that to make it more room. And then we're gonna copy the layer. We gonna be using this as a reference letter. So then, now that we have a copy of this, we're gonna make another copy of it and bring it next to the other one and make sure they have zero cap, oops, zero gap between them. And uh, this is like the once section and this is the tense. So for the first one, make sure that you align the text uh, to the left and anything that comes after this align it to the right so you can even do like if you want to do like 100 or something but I think <clears throat> for this tutorial we're gonna be doing like 75 I think it's an okay number so let's begin by filling out the numbers here so just start by zero and then do enter and oh actually also make sure that like vertical align alignment is to the top here and also change this here and now we can fill it with to like from zero to nine like so let's see did i get it correctly yes and for this you don't i noticed that you don't want to go like because we want to animate it to go through all the numbers but for this effect, you would imagine that you would have to fill the like ones seven times, but you don't want to do that. It's gonna move like supersonic speeds in the animation, so you just want to do like three to four times. So here I'm gonna limit it to like one, two, three, and then it's done. So because we we are uh, like aiming to get like. To 75 so just make sure the last number here is the one you want to end up in and then for the tens here we're gonna start with a new line instead of zero and then just fill it to the desired oops to the desired like end number and this is gonna be the like starting setup done and now we can select both of these layers and wrap them in a frame and we're gonna call this frame uh, rolling counter and this is gonna be the start start state of the counter and then we also want to like resize the frame to be smaller and only show one like row and here we need this number or oh, I mean this uh, text layer just make sure the wrapper frame is the same size as this so it's like one like text line height I mean equals the one text line um, and then we can just clip the content on the frame and then we're gonna make a duplicate of this frame 
and rename it to be end, like so. And then, because it's the end state, we want the numbers to be at the bottom or the top, how you want to uh, call it. And the easiest way to do this is just to align it to the bottom, so it will bring all of these numbers to the bottom, so we don't have to move them by hand. And then do the same thing for the like other digit here, bring it here, and boom, it's uh, at the position that we want it to be. And then we can also then we can uh, turn these into components like so. And I'm using a shortcut here. Uh, it's Option Command K or just create a component from here. And then also to make this look a little bit better we can adjust the frame size a little bit but uh, first you want to select the text layers here and make sure it's centered uh, vertically and then we can select the parent frame and while holding option resize the frame so everything stays in the center and make it like as small as you can so the number is just showing and let's uh, take note of the height it's 46 and let's do the same to the other one so select the text, text layers align them to the center horizontally no sorry vertically and then resize this to match the other one 46 46 yep looking good and now we can use variants figma just came out with this like a couple of days ago so we can uh, take advantage of this so select both of the components and just uh, select this combine as variants like so and figma gives us this property one which we can rename to be state and you already see that <clears throat> there are two variants uh, end and start so now that the component is done, we can just come to the Assets panel and drag in the rolling counter into the frame and we can center it there nicely. And then let's align this a bit better. There, maybe move it. No, that's okay, I guess. And now just duplicate the whole frame and select rolling counter and choose end here and then we can just simply add a quick uh, prototype connection so select the button here drag a connection to the other one it's gonna be on tab navigate and then animation is gonna be smart animate ease out is okay and and uh, a little bit longer animations or durations work for the counter nicely so I think one second is okay in this case and then do this uh, like a connection back to that so we can toggle easily so it's the same settings here like so and now we should be able to play the animation let's say yep looks to be working and there we go super super simple way to add a rolling counter to your prototypes all right that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you find it helpful if yes please leave the like button and also consider subscribing if you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section. And also, don't forget to check out the product files from the video description. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. So, bye bye.